Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. More than any other type of fishing, steelheading is the most demanding and specialized. Being at the right place at the right time with the proper bait, line, tackle, and presentation add up to success. Even when you think you've got it right, others around you are taking fish, and you aren't. Actually, success in steelheading is a measure of paying very close attention to a number of fine details and always being fully prepared. First and foremost is bait, which most often is roe, good roe. That's fresh, untreated salmon or trout eggs. If you purchased it from a tackle shop, you're better off with imitations. Trust us on this one. Professional steelheaders might let it slip that brown trout eggs are best. They are. Bank, steel, or borrow. If you've got the good stuff, you'll turn fish even if you do everything else wrong. In artificial baits, only use the very best. If you're unfamiliar with drifting techniques, try steel fishing with added styrofoam in deep pools and river mouths. It's unconventional, but it's what we do in filming. Confidence is next on the list, and just as important. Steelhead are moody and don't always hit. If you know they're in, keep on them and never give up. Stay focused and alert, and we guarantee you'll hit it big. Compared to other anglers, steelheaders are an eccentric lot. Most find something that works and stick to it stubbornly. There's no question they do well, though usually upon arrival. And yet, as the day goes on, there always seems to be that one guy out there continuously turning fish others can't. Must be a secret weapon. Actually, it's likely a whole bag of tricks that seal the deal. The problem with steelhead is they quickly become suspicious of the same thing, even when not hooked themselves. They possess a keen sense of knowing when something's wrong. Here's the solution. When using fish eggs or roe, tie it up in a multitude of colors. Start with a bold statement, like hot pink, to draw any aggressive fish. When the action slows down, switch to bright orange. Then progressively drop back to more somber colors and increasingly smaller baits. The same thing applies to imitations. When this fails to produce, as it will, try something radically different. Worms, real or otherwise, take steelhead. Plugs, spinners, flies, and jigs all have their place. After running the full gamut, start from the beginning and run through it again. Fact is, the fishing vest of a well-prepared steelheader will easily outweigh the heaviest fish in the river.